The flow coefficient CV can also be used to determine the hydraulic performance of any valve, fitting, pipeline, or any combination of fixed resistance components in a piping system. If the flow rate and differential pressure across the components are known, an equivalent CV can be easily calculated. Take a look at the following piping system. Here, water is flowing at 230 GPM through a ball valve and a check valve at 60 degrees Fahrenheit with a differential pressure of 55 PSI. Now, since we know the flow rate and the pressure drop across this piping system, then an equivalent CV can be calculated using the following formula. Recall, this formula was discussed in a previous video. Here we know the flow rate, which is equal to 230 GPM, and the pressure differential, 55 PSI. S refers to the specific gravity of the fluid. In our example, S equals 1, since the fluid is water. Now we plug in our variables for a result of 31. Therefore, this piping system becomes equivalent to the following one. Now using the equivalent CV, the flow rate at a different pressure drop can be calculated. And the pressure drop at a different flow rate can also be calculated. Assuming of course the resistance of all components remains fixed. To better illustrate these concepts, let's suppose now that the water flow rate is 100 GPM instead of 230. For this new process arrangement, determining the new pressure drop is as follows. We plug in our variables, as seen here. Now rearranging this equation yields the following value for the pressure drop.